with Sky 4. The 10 o'clock news continues. A final opportunity tonight for the five leading Democrats in Florida's race for governor to appear on the same stage and make their case to voters. The candidates gathered at Jacksonville University for a forum televised on Channel 4 and on TV stations statewide. They each sat down with Kent Justice, answering questions about some of their specific campaign issues and then answering questions tied to issues like education. In order for us to create a 21st century economy, we don't need to invest in other companies coming to Florida. We need to invest in Floridians. What does that mean? Paying our teachers a nationally competitive salary so they can teach our kids, making sure we have career technical education in our high schools. One thing I've learned is that prior to third grade, kids learn to read. After third grade, kids read to learn. Right now in Florida, only 56% of third graders are at the third grade reading level. Why? Because they're showing up at kindergarten woefully unprepared. Why? Because we have not given them any kind of pre-K. We have to look at the total budget, look where we're spending our resources, and where can we redirect resources to make sure, for instance, I know we're not spending enough in our public education system. We've got to spend more so that every child, no matter where he or she lives, is able to have that quality education in Florida. I can tell you what I believe. Uh, I believe uh, that we ought to offer every child in this state an equal opportunity to learn regardless of where they come from, what their mother or their father do for a profession. So I, would, I would have a process by which we would seek to invest those resources in the best programs, the best initiatives, the best ideas, school safety technologies that are proven to keep our kids safe. Now, Kent also spoke with our News for Jack's political analyst. The two are giving us an insider's view at the candidates' responses. So what a night at Jacksonville University in terms of our election 2018 coverage. All of the leading Democrat candidates for Governor Rick Mullaney, they were here on stage making their case. What did you think? Because tonight was a different format. It wasn't a debate. It was this forum. I think this forum worked out better than anybody could have hoped, quite honestly. We've had five debates prior to this. I think this was different. This allowed you as moderator to go deeper, to do follow-up questions. I thought it was good for the audience. I thought it was good for the candidates. They should... <laughs> this format is one that they have to be aware of the fact that you can do a follow-up here. Right. So, But I want to say this. I think the five candidates performed extraordinarily well. Yeah. Each one of them played to their strength. Each one of them was articulate. I think this format's a bit challenging for them because you do do the follow-up questions, but I thought they performed very well. Well, I think uh, after a debate, usually people are like, well, who won that? It seemed like there might have been five winners tonight. They all did very well. I thought they all did very well. And I will say this. In a multi candidate race with five like this. When they all do well, that tends to favor the one in, in the, the, in the lead, lead because the others have to separate themselves. And tonight was a sharp contrast to the Republican primary debate last night. This was very civil, of course. There were not attacks on the other side. Some of that was the format. Some was the nature of the candidates. But if you're behind, this was probably challenging to break out. If you're in the lead, this was a good night to make your case. And I don't think you're going to be, th this would work in your favor in a crowded field. Uh, this is the hardest question I can ask you. Did anybody stand out above the other? because I think all five of them really stood out on their own merit. I think it would be unfair to name one because I do yeah. think all five really did do extraordinarily well. I do think that a couple of those at the very end who are lower in the polls were able to take a few more risks, and they did take some risks in terms of more provocative positions. Chris King took some very yeah. pro provocative liberal positions. And, of right. course, Mayor Gillum, he said, I'm going to take progressive liberal positions, right. and he did. That stood out a little bit. I think, of course, the three leading contenders with Gwen Graham, Philip Levine, Jeff Green, they all were very, very at the top of their game, I thought. They did well. So what we'll continue to do well for you is bring you all the information you need in election 2018 coverage as we head toward August 28th, the Democratic primary, the Republican primary vote. And we'll find out who the nominees will be for the race for governor going forward. From Jacksonville University, Kent Justice, Channel 4, the local station.